Samarat use Blizzard, said Ash. Steelix use Sandstorm to block Blizzard, said Harrison. Samarat opened its mouth and released the Blizzard. Steelix started to spin and created Sandstorm that collided with Blizzard. Bith attacks negated each other. Steelix's fangs glowed yellow and leapt at Samarat. Samarat then draws two scimitar from a sheath on one of its arms. The sword glows light green and grows slightly longer. Samarat then slashes the Steelix with the scimitar in X shape which connects with Thunderfang resulting into mini explosion. Samarat then released Blizzard. Steelix leapt inside Blizzard and then slammed Samarat with Dragon Tail. Steelix then used Gyroball and Samarat used Aqua Jet which clashed against each other. Both are pushing each other back until it leads to explosion sending each other flying backwards. Samarat use water gun, said Ash. Steelix use dark pulse, said Harrison. Water gun and dark pulse connected with each other leads to explosion. Steelix then used thunderfang which Samarat countered using fury cutter. Steelix use aqua tail, said Harrison. Samarat use detect and then use ice aqua jet, said Ash. Steelix's tail surrounded in water after which he swings its tail in order to strike him. Samarat dodged the attack and then slammed into Steelix knocking it on the floor. Steelix stood back and used Euro Ball which Samarat countered with Aquajet. Samarat and Steelix pushed each other back until they repelled each other back. Steelix use Hyper Beam, said Harrison. Samarat use Ice Beam, said Ash. Steelix launched Hyper Beam which Samarat dodged by using Double Team and fired Ice Beam and freezes Steelix. Steelix stayed still for few seconds before it break free from the ice. Steelix then used Dig sending Samarat flying in the air. Samarat balanced itself and used Hyper Beam which Steelix countered using Flash Cannon. Both attacks leads to explosion. Steelix used Rock Blast which Samarad destroyed using Rock Smash and then used Aquajet and Megahorn combo. Steelix used Flash Cannon, said Harrison. Samarad evaded Flash Cannon and strikes Steelix making it fell on the ground. Way to go Samarad, said Ash as Steelix roared and get back on its tail and used Stone Edge which strikes Samarad dealing good amount of damage. We need something powerful to defeat him said ash to himself your steelix is strong said ash thanks but your samarat is strong as well said harrison steelix used dragon breath said harrison as steelix launched a blue beam from its mouth protect into scald said ash as samarat created energy dome and launched the boiling hot water at steelix who dodged the attack by using dig Samarat jumped and then launched Scald below him just before Steelix came out. Scald striked Steelix making him cry in pain. Okay Steelix use Steel Beam, said Harrison. Counter with Hyper Beam, said Ash as both Pokemon fired Energy Beam which results into explosion and smoke. Taking the advantage of that, Steelix appeared in front of Samarat in order to bind then launched Scald once more making Steelix cry in pain. Samarat then quickly opens its mouth. Then, a glowing light blue ball of water appears in front of Samarat's mouth and fires it at the Steelix who were unable to dodge it and got hit by Hydro Cannon. Steelix roared in pain. Steelix use Giga Impact, said Harrison. Use Giga Impact, said Ash as both Pokemon used Giga Impact which results into dual knockout. Trainers send your final Pokemon, said referee. Harrison sends his Blaziken and Ash sends his Charizard. Both Charizard and Blaziken recalled their last battle. I will defeat you this time, said Charizard. We will see, said Blaziken as referee signaled to start the battle. Charizard charged at Blaziken with Dragon Rush, Blaziken's body becomes surrounded by a gradually intensifying light blue aura. Once the aura flares up, Blaziken flies into the Dragon Rush at top speed. Sky Attack and Dragon Rush clash making both Pokemon crashed towards Battlefield. Blaziken and Charizard T balanced themselves and landed on their feet. Blaziken used Thunder Punch, said Harrison. Charizard used Dragon Punch, said Ash. Dragon Punch, never heard of it, said Harrison. 
Blaziken jumped in the air and then its fist encased in electricity and pushed its fist towards Charizard. Charizard's fist encased in swirling energy of dragon just like Dragon Claw and clashed it against Thunder Punch. Blaziken then used Blaze Kick which Charizard stopped using its tail and grabbed the leg. Once Blaziken leg is under Charizard's grip he used Brutal Swing and then throws Blaziken in the air. Blaziken balanced itself and used Solar Beam. Charizard countered Solar Beam with Solar Any Delay Blaziken used Brave Bird and Charizard used Dragon Rush. Brave Bird and Dragon Rush collided against each and Blaziken pushed each other back. Blaziken used Focus Punch which Charizard countered with Thunder Pooch. Charizard's Shadow Claw countered by Fire Punch. Blaziken and Charizard are on their respective side. Blaziken jumped in the air and disappeared and then reappeared beside Charizard and used close combat. Charizard blocked most of the kicks and punches but got hurt by few kicks and punches. As Blaziken is about to use Sky Uppercut, Charizard grabbed the Blaziken's arms and took him in the air. Charizard then spins around in circles and throws Blaziken towards the battlefield. Blaziken opened its eyes and launched Aura Sphere into the air towards Charizard who dodged the attack. Charizard dived down with Dragon Rush and strikes Blaziken. Blaziken stood back and appeared beside Charizard and assaulted him with close combat. This time Charizard unable to defend himself and crashed near Ash. Charizard, can you battle? asked Ash to which he nodded. Charizard then used Smoke Screen. Black smoke covered the entire battlefied blocking view of Blaziken jumped higher in the air, Charizard flew towards Blaziken as well. Blaziken has already formed Aura Sphere and launched towards Charizard. Charizard dodged the attack and then used Dragon Rush knocking Blaziken towards the battlefield. Without any delay Charizard dived down and grabbed Blaziken in tight grip. Charizard then flew back in the air and used Seismic Toss which results into dust and smoke rises in the air. When dust and smoke clears Charizard and Blaziken can be seen standing on their feet. Charizard then flew in the air and launched Dragon Pulse towards Blaziken. Blaziken used Brave Bird. Brave Bird and Dragon Pulse connected, Blaziken cut through Dragon Pulse and Strike then used Dragon Rush. Both Pokemon crashed into each other which results into mini explosion and fell towards battlefield. Charizard and Blaziken glared at each other. Charizard then used Dragon Pulse which Blaziken deflected using Blaze Kick and charged at Charizard using Aerial Ace. Charizard used its arms to block Blaziken and throws Blaziken in the air and used Hyper Beam. Blaziken balanced himself in the air and dodged Hyper Beam. Blaziken then used Sky Attack and Charizard countered it using Dragon Rush. Charizard then used Dragon Rage and Blaziken used Overheat to counter it. Blaziken used Sky Attack and striked Charizard sending it crashed near Ash. Charizard get up and then used Dragon Rush, Blaziken jumped and then used Mega Kick sending Charizard crashed on Battlefield. Charizard stood up and used Dragon Rush once again and Blaziken used Brave Bird. Both Pokemon crashed into each other. Charizard is now running out of energy. He can't battle anymore, said Ash. Charizard and Blaziken are running out of health. We need to end this quick, said Harrison. Charizard use Giga Blitz, said Ash. Blaziken use Giga Impact, said Harrison as both Charizard and Blaziken use their final move. Giga Blitz and Giga Impact connected with each other which results into massive explosion which results into smoke and dust. When smoke and dust clears both Charizard and Blaziken can be seen standing on their last leg. Blaziken lets use that, said Harrison which confused Ash as Harrison showed Ash a pendant which has white stone on it. Harrison then throws a weird looking stone to Blaziken. Blaziken grabbed stone and then Harrison pressed white stone after which Blaziken started to glow. Once glow faded there stood alternate version of Blaziken. Did his just evolved? Asked Ash. Yes. He mega evolved. Meet mega Blaziken. Said Harrison. Will mega form of Blaziken give Harrison a victory or will Charizard defeat his opponent? Said referee. Charizard. We have to be alert. 
We have to give our all, said Ash to which he nodded. Blaziken surrounded in fiery aura and the feather on his head grow a bit after which Blaziken chart at Charizard with such a speed that Blaziken seems like a blur. Blaziken's fist surrounded in flames and it tried to strike Charizard. Charizard blocked Blaze kick and the formed orange sphere in his mouth. Blaziken appeared beside Charizard and used focus punch sending Charizard crashed near Ash. Charizard can you battle? Asked Ash as he gently taps Charizard's head but no answer. Referee is about to declare that Charizard is unable to battle. Tail flame of Charizard flared up and then Charizard stood up releasing loud roar. Ash, I will defeat him. Said Charizard, Charizard I know you will defeat him, I am proud on you. But let's show them what we have got. Let our bond surpass their strength, said Ash. Let's show them, said Charizard. Charizard then glowed orange and then flew higher in the air. Blaziken jumped higher in the air and used focus blast. Charizard used its tail to deflect focus blast and then formed massive orb in front of its mouth which is two times bigger than normal orb. Charizard then fired it at Blaziken. Blaziken dodged the attack and launched Aura Sphere at Charizard. Charizard deflected Aura Sphere and used Dragon Rush combined with Flare Blitz. Blaziken used Sky Attack and both Pokemon collided into each other. Charizard then used Dragon Claw. Blaziken used Thunder Punch. Charizard fly high in the air and then covered in draconic energy and flame charge and charged at Blaziken with claws glowing charged at Charizard with Brave Bird. Charizard and Blaziken passed by each other and then flew high in the air before they clashed into each other. Collision of Dragon Rush and Brave Bird leads to explosion. Charizard and Blaziken landed back on their respective side. Blaziken used Aura Sphere and Charizard used Dragon Pulse that destroyed Aura Sphere and striked Blaziken. Without any delay Charizard flew towards Blaziken and then grabbed him and used Seismic Toss. Blaziken and Charizard used Giga Impact which leads to Dual Knockout. Another Dual Knockout everyone. Since it's a tie between the two trainers, we will conduct a tiebreaker round. Anyone who win this battle will move to next round said announcer. And Harrison sends his Hypno. Now we have see which Pokemon Ash will send, said announcer. Go, said Ash sending his Edgeslash. What's that Pokemon? asked Bianca. That's Edgeslash, a steel and ghost type from Kalo's region, said Max. Ash truly has some different Pokemon in his team, said Sillin. Edgeslash this is your first debut battle. Let's rock and roll, said Ash as Edgeslash flew higher in the air and used Sword Dance to raise its attack. Hypno use Hypnosis, said Harrison as Hypno used Hypnosis but it didn't work on Edgeslash. Edgeslash then used Swords Dance once again and used Metal Sound and then used Double Team. Hypno use Thunder Wave, said Harrison. Block it and use Night Slash, said Ash as Edgeslash used King's Shield to block Thunder Wave. Edgeslash changed into attack stance and then all copies landed powerful Night Slash. Edgeslash switched back to defense stance. Hypno use Shadow Ball, said Harrison. Block it and use Euro Slash, said Ash as Edgeslash blocked attack using King's Shield and then used Euro Ball combined with Night Slash and striked Hypno sending it crashed near Harrison. Hypno stood back and then used Hyper Countered Hyper Beam with Steel Beam which results into explosion. Hypno then used Psybeam which Edgeslash countered using Psycho Slash that striked Hypno dealing good damage. Without any delay Edgeslash used Dark Cannon which is a combo of energy of Night Slash and Flash Cannon. Hypno blocked it and used Thunderbolt. Edgeslash grounded electricity and used metal sound making Hypno immobile for few moment and slashed him using Night Slash. Hypno used Psybeam and Edgeslash used Psycho Slash a combo of Night Slash and Psycho Cut which passed through Psybeam and hit Hypno. Edgeslash then used Gyroslash a combination of Gyroball and Night Slash knocking Hypno out of the battle. Hypno is unable to battle. Winner is Ash Ketchum, said and Harrison recalled their Pokemon back. Nice battle, said Harrison. Same to you, your Pokemon are stronger than ever, said Ash.
Thanks, said Harrison. Next day it's a battle between Ash and Cameron. So, Ash and Cameron. We know who is going to win, said Sillen. We can't say. Cameron is powerful as well, said Bianca. I wonder which Pokemon he is going to send next, said Bianca. Ash, I will defeat you, said Cameron. We will see, said Ash. Trainers, send your your Pokemon, said referee. Lucario battle time, said Cameron sending his Lucario. Which Pokemon should I send next? Thought Ash. Let's give Zeraora a chance. Plus he battled with me so many times, and I can assure he will win his first battle, said Lucario. But, it will reveal him, said Ash. No problem, I am okay with this, said Zeraora. If that's what you want then I am okay with it, said Ash. What are you saying Ash, asked Cameron. Nothing, said Ash as he sends his Pokemon. When Pokeball opens up, a cat-like Pokemon emerges in a fighting stance. Zeer, said Zeraora. What's that Pokemon, asked Cameron. Meet Zeraora, pure electric type, said Ash. When did Ash get that of encountering Zeraora is rare, said Max. Let the battle between Zeraora and Lucario begin, said referee. Lucario start with force palm, said Cameron. Zeraora, remember your training. Wait and attack, said Ash to which Zeraora nodded. As Lucario approached Zeraora and tried to place his arm on Zeraora's chest, Zeraora used his tail-like appendage and grabbed Lucario's wrist and changed direction of force palm and slashed Lucario using electricity-enhanced claw sending him crashed near Cameron. Lucario stood back and formed Aura Sphere. Lucario sends Aura Sphere at Zeraora. Zeraora send it back using Blaze Kick, said Ash. When Aura Sphere is near Zeraora, he uses Blaze Kick that connected with Aura Sphere and engulfed it in the flames before sending it back to Lucario. Lucario dodge and use close combat, said Cameron as Lucario jumped in the air and charged back at Zeraora with fist glowing white. Zeraora now, counter with close combat, said Ash. Zeraora knows close combat as well, said Max in excitement. Zeraora then engaged in combat with Lucario. Lucario and Zeraora engaged in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Lucario pulled his arms and then thrusted his arm forward which connected with Zeraora's fist. Both fists then connected and Zeraora then used his kick which Lucario blocked with its own. Both of them pushed each other back and then ran towards each other with glowing fist. Once again exchange of kicks and fist continued until both charged or a sphere. Now, said Ash and Cameron as both Pokemon used their attacks which results into explosion. Both Lucario and Zeraora are standing still. Now Zeraora show your agility and use Plasma Fist, said Ash. Plasma what? asked Cameron as Zeraora's fists become surrounded in light blue electricity and then it slams its fists onto the ground, sending a stream of light blue electricity through the ground. As Plasma Fist racing towards his opponent it started to tear up the battlefield. Electricity is racing towards the Lucario who is standing still. Lucario dodge, said Cameron as Lucario came into its senses and dodged the attack with double team and Aura Sphere. All Aura Sphere from all copies shot towards Zeraora. Zeraora then used Electroweb to defend himself and then both are engaged in close combat once again making them exchange their attacks. Zeraora lets battle at full power, said Ash. Are you sure? We train for approximately three years. Wouldn't that be overkill? Asked Zeraora. Nope, said Ash. Zeraora and Lucario are glaring at each other. Until Ash, yelled, let's power up Zeraora. Blue color fur of Zeraora then starts to glow blue making Zeraora disappear. Few moments later Cameron's Lucario fell on his knees holding his abdomen. How is that possible? Asked Cameron in shock. What should I do? What should I do? Asked Cameron as he stretched his headband and then released it. Lucario lets use or a sphere, said Cameron. Zeraora stop it and use close combat, 
said ash as zero or a formed electricity in front of his claws and blocked or a sphere and disappeared from the view and used focus blast on close range sending lucario crashed near cameron lucario i know you can do it said cameron as lucario stood back and his eyes glowed and then raised his arms and formed or a sphere which started to get bigger and bigger lucario launched or a sphere at zero aura zero aura wait for it and use close combat said ash as Aura Sphere reached near Zara Aura, he used his strength to block it. Lucario used Dragon Pulse, said Cameron as Lucario launched Dragon Pulse on Aura Sphere that pushed Aura Sphere into Zara Aura which exploded after few seconds sending Zara Aura crashed near Ash. This combo dealt great amount of damage to Zara Aura. What a powerful attack by Lucario. But is it sufficient for Lucario to gain edge on Zara Aura, said announcer. We are not going to be defeated so easily. Zeraora can you battle? Asked Ash to which Zeraora nodded. Lucario used Bone Rush, said Cameron. Zeraora evaded and used Thunder Punch, said Ash. As Lucario reached near Zeraora, he swings his staff made out of aura. Zeraora then covered in electricity and hovered above Lucario and used Rolling Thunder Punch on Lucario's head and then used Thunder Enhanced Fury Swipes before using Focus Blast. Lucario blocked it but becomes target of Plasma Fist which dealt good amount of damage. Lucario, Zeraora use Aura Sphere, Plasma Fist, said Ash and Cameron on same time. Lucario's Aura Sphere and Zeraora's Plasma Fist connected with each other. Both of them giving their all until it leads to big explosion making smoke and dust covered the battlefield. When smoke clears both Lucario and Zeraora are standing still until Lucario is the one to fall first making Zeraora winner. Lucario is unable to battle. Zeraora is the winner, declared referee making crowd cheer in happiness. You did it, your first official battle and you nailed it, said Ash as Zeraora walked back towards Ash. Thanks, it was because of the faith you put into me, said Zeraora. Take a well-deserved rest, said Ash as he recalled his friend back. Samarat go, said Cameron. Torterra battle time, said Ash sending his continent Pokemon. Torterra vs Samarat let the battle begin, said referee. Samarat use Aqua Jet, said Cameron. Iron Head, said Ash. Samarat and Torterra connected in middle of the battlefield with their own attacks. Iron Head and Aqua Jet leads to collision making dust and smoke rises in the air. Samarat use Razor Shell, said Cameron as Samarat jumped in the air with sword glows light blue and grows slightly longer. Samarat then dived down towards Torterra in order to strike him. Torterra then fired stone projectiles that successfully hit Samarat knocking it back on the field. Torterra use Earth Power, said Ash as Torterra raised its front paws and slammed on the field making orange energy raced towards Samarat after which ground erupted knocking Samarat in the air. Now use Seed Bomb, said Ash as Torterra opens its mouth and a white orb is seen inside of it. It then fires multiple glowing white seeds from its mouth that explode on impact with Samarat. Samarat then charges with Aqua Jet which Torterra countered using Stone Edge. Samarat destroyed Stone Edge and striked Torterra which he endured and countered back with Bullet Seed which Samarat defracted using Razor Shell. Torterra keep firing Bullet Seed and use Frenzy Plant, said Ash as while firing Bullet Seed Torterra used Frenzy Plant which knocked out Samarat. Samarat is out of the battle, Torterra wins, declared referee. Nice job Torterra. Take rest for now, said Ash recalling his Pokemon. Ash, it's time for my final Pokemon. How will you defeat him? Said Cameron sending his Hydreigon. Which Pokemon will Ash send next? It seems Ash has variety of Pokemon to choose from, said Max. Charizard go, said Ash. And Ash Ketchum is going with his own Charizard, said the announcer. As soon as referee signaled to start the battle, Charizard and Hydreigon engaged in a battle. Charizard and Hydreigon both are clashing Dragon Claw and Dragon Tail against each other. Charizard increased distance and used Hyper Beam, Hydreigon launched Tri-Attack. 
Attacks collided in mid-air and both attacks concentrated in one giant orb before it exploded. Charizard and Hydreigon charged at each other with draconic energy surrounding them which is normally called as Dragon Rush. Attacks were powerful that it sends shockwaves to greater distance. Charizard dodged the attack and used Dragon Tail and Hydreigon used Fire Fang. The fangs of small head covered in flames and landed bite on Charizard's tail. Charizard used Dragon Claw and made himself free. By utilizing full power, Hydreigon prepared Draco Meteor and launched it at Charizard without firing it in the air. Concentrated orb of draconic energy striked Charizard who stopped it with Dragon Wings a new combo created by Ash. A combination of Dragon Rush and Steel Wing where Dragon Energy surrounded wings instead of body. Draco Meter Orb hit Hydreigon making it crashed on the field. Cameron can't believe that his secret weapon is now weaker than Ash's Charizard. Hydreigon then flew back in the air and launched Tri-Attack that made contact with Charizard's Dragon Tribe to hold on Dragon Pulse which absorbed Tri-Attack and striked Hydreigon knocking it in the floor. Hydreigon then flew back in the air and used series of Dragon Pulse, Dragon Rush. Charizard evaded and stopped all attacks and landed its own Dragon Claw that cut through Tri-Attack and striked Hydreigon. Hydreigon blocked the attack and then used Dragon Rush that made Charizard crashed on the field. Charizard flew back in the air with Dragon Rush and Flare Blitz combo slamming into Hydreigon and grabbed Hydreigon's both heads and then swing it 360 degree before slamming it into the ground nearby. Hydreigon charged back at Charizard with Dragon Rush. Both Pokemon are then engaged in pure strength based combat. Both made grip on their opponent's limbs. Charizard then proved way too powerful and used Seismic Toss that dealt great damage to Hydreigon. Charizard and Hydreigon used Hurricane that created massive tornado that started to race towards each other and negated each other. Charizard then used Dragon Rush and Skull Bash combo to get into the tornado and striked Hydreigon and grabbed him. For final blow Charizard used Seismic Toss once again which Hydreigon endured Seismic Toss but not for Ling time as Charizard used Rock Tomb to confine him and used full power Dragon Rage dealing good damage. Hydreigon glowed dark and flew towards Charizard. Charizard flew in the air and once again they engaged in deadly combat. Hydreigon is using Dragon Rush which Charizard stopped using his strength and Hydreigon is in Charizard's grip. This time it is end for Hydreigon. Charizard used Seismic Toss and Submission which knocked out Hydreigon. Hydreigon is unable to battle. Charizard is the winner, declared referee. Ash Ketchum moves to next round, said announcer. Charizard. Amazing job buddy. Take a well-deserved rest. Said Ash. I may need you against Tobias, said Ash as he recalled him back. You did great Hydreigon, said Cameron as he recalled his Pokemon back. That was amazing battle Cameron. Your Hydreigon was strong, said Ash. Thanks, and congrats, said Cameron.